Hey guys, it's February the 21st today. Uh, wow, $34 silver, eh? So now that's up double from where it was six months ago when I left for Burning Man at the end of August last year. Silver was 17 bucks, And now here we are at 34 um, Not many things go up uh, in, you know, short fashion like that. Um, doubling in six months, that's pretty pretty unheard of, but we know that silver is headed for a lot higher prices, and uh, I keep getting questions from people asking, uh, did I miss the boat on silver, is it too late? Um, no, I can't give investment advice, but my opinion is no, it's not too late. Um, <laughs> in fact, this isn't even the beginning stages of silver's rise. Um, I'm looking at silver into the multiple hundreds of dollars in the next couple of years. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but I encourage everyone to do their own research. Uh, there's a lot of good channels on YouTube that are talking about this. And there's a lot of good people, David Morgan, James Turk, Bob Chapman, the list goes on and on, Ted Butler, la 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 la. There's a lot of guys out there, Peter Schiff, um, you know, I could name hundreds of names, but um, a lot of people are talking about silver into the hundreds, and that's, you know, that's conservative, I think. Silver should be at $150 today um, if it were at the same price it was in 1980, inflation-adjusted. So, inflation-adjusted, and that is legitimate, um, $1980 are not the same as 2010 and 2011 dollars, so... Um, you have to take into account inflation. So the 1980 price was $150, and since then, we've gone through all the silver stockpiles, used it up, and put it into our machines and computers. And uh, we just don't have any left in the vaults. So $150 is not an appropriate price today. An appropriate price today is probably more like uh, $2,000, $3,000 an ounce. So when you buy an ounce at $33, um, asking if it's um, too late to buy, if you missed the boat, no, we're, n we're not anywhere near any kind of top. And, um, you know, I, I, I think you just need to, to um, look at some long-term charts and see where the trend is going. Um, I'll link to one below. In fact, uh, maybe I'll, I'll throw up the eight-year chart for silver, and you can just, if you, if you can't see where that's going, um, you know, let me know, and I'll <laughs> hook you up with some glasses or something. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to throw out a video this morning. I know this, there's no content here really, just a discussion. Uh, here's a nice-looking little. Coin. This is a 50 cent piece from 1967. It's 80% silver and 20% copper. I picked this up for $8, which is under the spot price of silver, and it's actually an, an uncirculated proof coin. So you, you can still get silver out there for spot or even below spot price sometimes. And if you can, it's, you know, amazing. It's amazing to get silver at below spot price. I mean, it's amazing to get silver at spot price. If you're buying any of these at current prices, you're going to be so, so happy. Uh, well, immediately. <laughs> as soon as you get them in hand, you'll be happy. Just because you're not holding that paper anymore. But um, you'll be happy down the road, too, as it protects your money, protects your stored value. And uh, for a lot of us, um, a lot of people are going to be getting very, very rich off of this. And... Um, you know, that's not really what I'm about, getting rich. I'm not really interested in being rich. And I don't have enough silver to get rich, even if it does go to incredible amounts. But um, it will protect our purchasing power. One other thing I just thought I would mention. I found this note. It was a one-cent note from Hong Kong. And I just thought it was interesting because they had the decency to leave the back blank. Because, uh, as we know, paper money is absolutely worthless, has no intrinsic value, except for this one cent. This one cent does have a little bit of value because you could, you know, jot something down on the back. Fiat is crap. 
Have a good day, guys.